while we were off camera, carnage was happening, people were getting thrown out of their grid slots. All lights are on, we're waiting for the green light. And we're off. Oh, Supersonic out of his car at the start. Colin's getting an amazing jump off at the start. Healthy Dolphin and Ray are going at it for third place. Pretty clean start so far. Colin's oh gets overtaken by Ryoko. But blue blazers hit the wall, hit the lamppost. Coming into the hairpin section, Ryoko taking the lead. Colin's right behind. Ray takes the inside line, but Healthy Dolphins hits them. Supersonic pushes his way through. Healthy Dolphins is going to take fourth. Oh, collisions between Supersonic and Ray. Healthy Dolphin holding off fourth position. Colin's in second place. Pretty close tight battle between the Blue Blazers, the Green Emerald, and Max Speed. Oh, Max Speed hits hits Healthy Dolphin coming into the cheese wheels. Oh, Ryoko! Ryoko and Collins collide coming out of the sand hairpin. Into the double hairpin section, Collins with a really clean racing line. Ryoko, oh, goes way too early and hits the wall. Ray coming in on a close... Third, Collins is already coming onto the jump section, running away with it. Oh, in the meanwhile, the max speed car of Supersonic and Healthy Dolphin are battling it out for fourth place. At back at the double hairpin section, Collins is coming around the final code two corners, about to start lap two. Collins already having a really comfortable lead ahead of Ryoko in second place and Ray in third. Collins already coming into the waterfall section. Trying just to hold a clean line. Let's head, let's cut back to the other two. Ryoko trying to defend from Ray. Coming into the hairpin section. Oh, Ryoko hits the rock. That's gonna give Ray the, the better advantage. He's gonna get he's gonna get a lot more speed. Trying to go down the inside, but he hits the rock. Sends Ryoko over the rocks. He also hit the rocks. Carnage hitting wall and wall. Ryoko holds off Ray to hold second place. Already. Already, Bray getting a massive speed boost, trying to use that to his advantage to overtake Ryoko, but takes a real tight line on the hairpin and doesn't get that well. Ryoko hits the wall. Carnage between the two for second place. Ray takes second place from Ryoko. Ryoko hot on his tail. Ryoko tries to go down the inside. She's gonna take a tight line, but she's gonna push him wide. Ray on two wheels. Close battles, they're gonna both get into the into the tree. Ryoko hits the wall, hits the tree. Supersonic overtakes her. Ryoko out of her car for some reason. Hi. Ryoko left. Ryoko left. Um we have a random person. Taking the purple circuiteers car, which seems to be chocolate the team lead or one of the drivers for flying aces uh, I don't know if he's gonna get disqualified or not, but we're gonna find out Collins on lap three already Far far ahead of real any competition We're looking at, at Ray in the blue Blazers car right now. Coming on. Let's take a look at our handheld cam. Let's maybe cut to that. We'll look at that angle. Ray already on the cheese wheels. Already, Collins with a monster lead coming on to start lap four.
Not much action happening. Everyone's pretty spread out though. So on the jump, people have been taking different racing lines trying to maximize their maximize their speed coming into the final chicane. Most seem to be taking the center middle line, but overall they're still probably maxing or max probably at 60 miles per hour. Colin's already coming onto the cheese wheel sections. Looks like he might be coming around to lap somebody real soon at this pace. Let's see if we can cut to the handheld camera for a second here. To try and get a nice view. We're going to look at a ground floor image of Collins coming around to the jump section. Already with a monster that's going to come around to start the final lap of this race. Come rounding the final couple turns. Already on the final lap, Colin's taking the monster lead of this race. Oh, he hits the cathedral wall, though. Taking a slow crawl up into turns 3, 4, and 5. So we're looking to see him come around to the waterfall section. He's going to come around and get lap traffic from the green emerald car from the green car in the back we're gonna try and cut to them oh healthy dolphin hits the rock that's gonna let Collins lap them pretty cleanly there Real, not much action happening. Collins with a monster lead is going to come around to the jump section already as we speak. He's going to come around to the final chicane. Probably the hardest section at the end. He's going to run the final two turns on the right of your guys' screen there. Come around and he's going to win race nine here at Rally Park. He wins it. We're trying to see who will play second. It's not going to be Healthy Dolphin. We're looking to see... It's going to look to be Ray holding second. Healthy Dolphin was lapped, though, in the green car. He did get lapped. We're looking to see who will place third or second here. We're looking to see who around the final two turns. It's going to look to be Ray in the blue blazer car humming around the final chicane. He's going to slow down. He's going to come around to take the win. Or not to take the win, sorry. To take second place. For blue blazers on race time. We're now waiting for the for the last two drivers to come around. It's gonna be yellow in the max speed car. Supersonic in this max speed car is taking third place, rounding off the top three. We're just waiting around now for Healthy Dolphin in the green car. To finish the race. Real drama ensuing here on race 9 at Rally Park. With one driver DNFing for probably, that's the probably the first DNF ever of R3L. And 
it's not going to be a good record. It's going to be a pretty bad one. Healthy Dolphin rounding the final chicane, taking fourth place.